This was the end of the video. Uh, you never really realise what you're looking at. Just look at all those people. Some of them don't have faces. Ah, oh, the technology of the time. Well, they can make these trams have cameras. So they weren't unlike us, really. And I actually think they were far more advanced. And it's all been done to make us think something different. But look at this. So what I think is, well, I don't know. It's been made, but it probably was a dark skinned person. And look at the driver or that person sitting there, whoever he is. It's more like a soldier, to be honest, but look at the white mark around him. But anyway, this guy is going to walk across the bus and um, there he is. Right, so here he is, going to start walking and look at the changes. Look what happens to his face. And then he's going to go in front of that one. He's got a white rim around him. And I think the person in the back of the bus is a dark skinned person. And the person getting off actually is a dark skinned person with a bit of CGI. So you think they're less advanced, but actually if this was done then, and we're talking of the 1920s or thirties, whenever it is when they're, making these videos for us they were highly sophisticated then unless it's been done for you today and been added as old footage when it really really isn't it's all made that's all i see i really really wish that i, I saw something different but i don't i mean that person sitting there look he's got this white let's stop that a minute He's got a white ring round him. That means he's added to the footage. And actually, as you zoom in, you can't even see any features whatsoever. Let's put it on. Because this person here doesn't look right. I mean, what is that? Another dark skinned person. Do you see that? Oh, let's go back. There. Look, it's another dark skinned person. Look at that. You can see the back of the bus through his jacket. There. That's another dark skinned person. I don't have anything against anybody. All I'm trying to show you is that they've lied that people weren't there when they were. So that's, oh, I just saw that. Wow, I just see, I mean, you have to look and look and you see more, but that's a dark skinned person. But anyway, we're going back in that bus because I'm just like, why? Why would you want to do this? Why would you want to cover up the fact that you know, in the 1920s, it was much different to what they said and everybody was living in harmony with each other than if they've had to cover this up and manipulate it to pretend that for that second when he goes past the glass, you see a white person when it wasn't. And there's the little added man down here. And look what happens to him as that guy starts walking past. Oh, he gets all squashed up. It's all flat. That's why, let's just go back here again. That's why it's so difficult. We're just going to stop it. Because what it basically, because you know, it takes a few seconds for you to realise that he's not sitting on the glass. There's a door there. He's behind. But when you look at it, it's all flat. There's no depth of anything there. That's something they can't do. They just cannot do it. Your videos will, have, will show more depth than that. And you see, there's a door there, which you can't really see. But anyway, this surprised me because um, this is some kind of star fort. With all the convenient people plonked all over it. There's Trumpton again. Trumpton was a cartoon here. So Trumpton is a cartoon. Um, you know when they almost have 
they're not real, but they're made to to act and look kind of real, but they're not. That's Trumpton Children's Program. I mean, look at the size of that kid. Oh, let's stop it there. That's just ridiculous. He is only a few feet away from them. And look, at, look, I know he's a kid. Look at the size of him compared to them. He's much bigger. He looks tiny. Do you, do you see what I mean? Yeah, he might be down a little bit, but it just doesn't look right because he never does. Because they can't make up for the fact that you're looking at 1D. Everything's flat. Nothing's got a perspective. Because it's flat. It's been made. Everybody's been superimposed in and you can only do so much with a 1D thing. Oh, anyway. The next bit is my favourite bit. I always look when they've got women in there, because I'd like to see just how many of them actually had breasts. Um, I don't think women have bigger breasts until they have children, so obviously none of these people have had children, that's what I reckon, but some of them do, so hopefully those are women. Not sure about the second one in, but, you know, this one. But um, it's nice to think that that is a bunch of women and behind them is the men but even they get all weird and wonky and you know to me I get it and I'm thinking the whole lot are superimposed the whole lot it's one big CGI and the only thing is the people didn't get it the people are blind and don't see it but once you see it you cannot mistake what you're looking at. I mean, look at him. Let's go back there a little bit. Look at his perspective, this one. He's quite, he's a little bit bigger than these. He's next to them. He's got a bigger face. Talk about twice the size of that one. You see, and you just notice these things because that one's superimposed in. They're all superimposed in. This bit coming up now is my favorite. And it's supposed to be Massachusetts, but I don't know. And this person here is darker skinned. But some of them look so like, look, do you see what I mean? It's been made. This is not real people jumping up. This is all a CGI thing. Look, it's a game. It's to make you believe there's loads of people that are having fun, but it's all been made. Look at the perspective of the ones jumping up. I mean, look at that. I've got to go back there. To, we've got to make us go. When he jumps up, his face disappears. Watch. Look. Just look at them. They're all superimposed. And once you get that, look at that guy's arm here, whatever that is, look at that, that was a bit weird. Everybody, this is nothing to do with Technicolor and all that. The whole thing's been made. So they get around the mistakes by maybe putting that Technicolor or something like that over it to make it look older. But look, you know the postcards of the babies, we did that. Now think of those postcards and look at what you are looking at. This whole scene isn't real. None of this is real. Every single body is superimposed in. Think of the Be the Be the Beatles LP with the pictures all on the back. This is the same thing, except they're moving. Look at the fake water. Look how many people are there. Where is the perspective? How dangerous is this? Don't seem to care, do they? Look, that one's going down fully clothed. Look at it. Do you see now you're, what you're looking at? It's all superimposed. The whole lot. We'll just play a little bit again because it's just incredible. This, this is the best bit of footage I've seen to be able to show it back that you cannot mistake that that is all superimposed. You can see it, can you now? Where's the sky? Where's the background? Look what's happening. Look at the fake, look at it all. Hey, I'm up. Whoosh. 
absolutely ridiculous. Do you see it? Do you see that every single body is superimposed? Everybody. Anyway, let's continue with the video. I kind of like these films, but not for the reason that you think. I don't like them. It's just I know that every time I look at it that I will see a problem. So we're going to just go through this video. It's the 1920s in America. And I think it's Detroit. Uh, I'm not sure. I can't remember. Now, hang on a sec. It's Massachusetts. Yeah. I just went and looked it up. Um, when I looked, I wondered, is the man that we see in some of the photographs, remember I've seen him before, I put a one minute video about him, because you see his shadow in the picture, so he's really there. Don't ask me why they would do this, but they're looking, that is a television screen, looking at the television screen. Why they couldn't film it, God only knows. Um, but anyway, what you're looking at, it's a television screen. There's the rim. They've got this person. Look, you see his jacket there? That's not right, is it? Look there, do you see? That's not right. But anyway, they've got this person sitting there. I don't quite know how they've done it. Maybe he's on the screen and someone's filming the screen. I just... I don't quite know how to explain it, but he's added... This is a television screen thing that's what i see till a certain time you actually take a bit of a deeper look and see that there is a lot more there's just every color of person so they were multi-racial then as they are today remember when it was i think it was the 1950s people go and that's what they're telling everyone but really when you look at the footage you'll see that there's every colour in there and there's a lot more darker skinned people than there is lighter skinned people. The technicolour is to cover it all up. Pretend that we are white skinned people. It must have been introduced. I don't believe all these people are there. They're all superimposed in. But look at him. He's tiny, that man. He's tiny. He's tiny. Okay, they're women. They're midget ones. What you think you're seeing. And this has all just been shut together. I don't believe there was that many people there. I just don't. And, um, you know, obviously, they, if, they, if there was, they didn't have rules that they weren't allowed to be out. I can't wait to show you the crowds of people. There, this one blew my mind a bit. Look at the man in the cab with the horses. Look at him. That's what I saw, so I'm going to play it a bit slower. So first of all, you can't see his face, but you can see the horses. What are we looking at? Look at the man next to him. Look at that. Eyes. Whether some of this was wrong, and it was black and white, and then they've added it's something like that i think just a second ago it just doesn't happen like that and then there's a kid in there it's one thing and it's got it got it in his mouth for a lot of the time this one what is and it's in his mouth a lot of the time he's there for the next minute and look how he's let's do that again look how he conveniently that tram, yet he's just walking over the tracks. Please, tracks. Can you understand any of that? Electric. So they had electric. That boy there still has something in his mouth. There it is, the round thing. And what era are we looking at? Are those carriers the buildings in? Is it the buildings are there? They put the I don't know. Yeah, they jump out of the way, but they're so rules and rules for themselves, and they all get in the way of these carriages coming round, which are being filmed, all going out on their journeys. That is a very tight turning there.
So what are we looking at now? Um, well, he hasn't got a person down there didn't have a face. Yeah, look, he's fuzzy. So, yeah, I'm just looking for things. This now is a little bit, I did a, quite a bit on this bit. We're looking at these people going on to this tram. And I looked at them going in now, and I thought, hmm, I'm going to take a look at this. So that's what I did. And look at that man getting on with him. He is crazy. We're going to take a little bit, and that woman's crazy as well. But we're going to a little bit of a deeper look at and Oh my God, I know it's a lie. Because what it is, is you're going to see in a minute, that is supposed to be glass. So a woman walks past the glass, but its reflection shows you it's a map. So we're going to have a look at that in a minute. So that is absolutely crazy. But then uh, how she got on and then she is the one that is a man. Just look at that. What is that supposed to be? Anyway, they're coming up here. So what is she wearing here? You just can't tell with this thing. It's a doctor to talk. Here we come. I mean, what is that there? Look at that. It's bad. That's, that's the back of supposed to be the back of her head. And she's now nah, I'm just slowing it down. Weird it all is. And she's a different colour to the rest. But that could be the technicolor it looks like to me. Get upstairs, girl. Man. Sorry, it's a man. It's a man. Same man. It's a man. Because the mirror, sh the glass shows it's a man. So anyway, here they come. Here he comes. perspective none of them are in the same perspective because they doctored this footage and made you believe you're looking at a woman on the track Yeah, so in a moment, come on, get up those stairs. It is a little bit sorry about that, but I want you to see it as well. I want you to be in no mistake about what you're going to see. So, like I said, they're not all in the same perspective. And so this happens as they get up the stairs. Absolutely crazy. Look at that. I cannot believe that this is real. This is posed in. This is, is, is a doctored. I think it's because they're a man. Here they come, they're coming up. And look at their face, right, here they come. Now they're going to start walking across that glass and reflection you see in the mirror. Glass, rather. Here it is, it's coming, look, there it is, there it is. Oh, there you go. It's a man. There, see? It's a man. This is a man getting on there it's not it's in the glass this is a man it's a man and now it's got a big shoulder you see a man a man None of them look very happy when they're getting up into the train and just watch. What is that? What is that? He turns round and look at the one next to him. Look at this. Look at that. Do you see they've got not who they say they are? Crazy. 
I think that person there, and then they're white, but I don't think they were. So they've been somewhere and they've got there and then this person's going to celebrate. But just look at their faces. Why do they ask on what? Because they're Technicolor. Yeah, right. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I've got to oh, slow this down now because of what happened with his hat. Look at them shaking hands. Right, so he's going to show himself. He's going to take watch what happens. Look at his mouth. But look at the faces. That kind of looks like there's its ears, like an Alsatian almost looking through there. Do you see it with a big block blob on its eye? It's like a dog looking through that. Let's go back a tiny bit more because my curse is on it. There you go, look. Do you see the dog? Do you see, there's the dog's eye, there's the dog's mouth, there's its nose, there's its ears, and it comes around down here. Do you see that with a black mark there, which is over his mouth? What's that supposed to be? And look at his face. Look at that wonky eye. I think we go to that in a minute. Crazy. A quick look at his face. Look at that. So here he comes. And then he takes his hat. Soldier? Darker person there? Look, is that a darker person? Yeah. But to get rid of... Oh, well, we'll just stick that in. That's a darker skinned person there. I just think that's so crazy. What is that? You can see the box and the head. Why can't we see that we all got on together and lived together? Why does it be like this? It's going to take that hat off. Oh, and look at the man he's talking to. Look at that. This has all been made. Anyway. What I see. Well, I think it's crazy. Does that look right? Let's go back to showing that bit, yeah. So we've got him, and he's just... You zoom in, and everything just gets worse. But, you know, it's just not right. Look, he's got a great big bulby eye. And what's this? Just a great big nose. It's because it's all superimposed on. Let's just take this off. What do you make of it all? Don't you think it's all rather crazy? Anyway, leave your thoughts afterwards. Thanks very much for watching.